Hello, welcome back to my channel and to today's video, which is going to be a trip out sourcing with me. Um, I've been wanting to go into York for a while now. I haven't done the charity shops in York since last year, um, probably last summer. Um, and I really fancy a look around them and uh, a walk around town. And there's also um, some Wedgwood ceramics in a charity shop in Harrogate that I'm contemplating driving to Harrogate to as well to have a look around. Um, not that I'm there five days of the week anyway, but um, I feel like they're going to sell um, and I would like to buy it because it's a really good price. But you watch me drive all the way there and then it'd be gone. Anyway, um, might do that, depends how I'm feeling. Um, but I thought I would take you with me. I've never filmed the charity shops before. I find it quite awkward. So I will see what footage I can get. Um, and therefore this may be a very short video, but we'll see. I just thought I would quickly show you my outfit of the day. I've got on this Adidas, um, it's like a zipped polo, long sleeve polo. Um, I really like the colour of the stripes on the sleeves. My favourite pair of Levi's with the side tape. Um, but it has got a loose thread that I need to sort out. Um, then my Puma trainers. Um, I think these are the 3XN, I think. And then um, I've got on my fun Keith Herring socks, which um, were one of my Christmas presents from my parents. So I just need to brush my teeth and I'm ready to go. So I've made it to Harrogate. I decided to come here first um because it makes sense to come out of my way to then get closer to back to home um, but i'm parked at work and there is a really nice view from the car park because we're actually on the second floor here um and you get to see like some of the nice buildings but literally it, the only cars here are the company pool car and my car and then up there on the top floor is our office um it's handy being able to park here because it's free and in the town centre we are literally on top of the train station so we couldn't be any more central which is handy and they must be having some work done here because they've got this weird flooring down strange so i'm gonna head straight to the ymca see if they've still got the wedge wood and if they do, I'll pay for it, but leave it there while I go and wander around the other shops. And then there's less chance of me breaking it before I even get it home. Gutted, it's gone. There's some other stuff there that looks exactly the same, but it's not actually wedge wood, and that's why it's 50p. But the actual wedge stuff, wedge wood stuff, is gone, and I'm an idiot for not getting it when I saw it. But anyway, I've got a few other bits, and I'm gonna go around some more shops. So I've been around six charity shops, bought from two of them, spent about 30 pounds. Um, all the others were just really expensive, which is fine, um, but just not for me. So I'm back at the car now. Um, I'm going to head back towards York, but I'm going to go via a town called Weatherby. Weatherby. <laughs> um, because I know there's a fair few charity shops there and I've never been in them, so I don't know what the pricing's like, but also Weatherby can be a bit of a pig for parking. So if I'm driving through and it doesn't look like there's any parking spaces, then I probably won't bother stopping. I'm also aware that it's gone 12 now and I want um, a decent amount of time in York. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Either 
I'll be in Weatherby next, I'll be in York. I managed to fit everything I got in one bag, and to be fair, most of it is filled up with this Britta jug that's new in box. Um, the clothing's tucked down there, and then I got a mug, which is in there somewhere. I am gutted about the Wedgwood, but it's my own stupid fault. So, yeah, anyway, onwards and upwards, or onwards and east over to York. <laughs> so, I've made it to Weatherby managed to find some parking so I'm gonna have a quick wander but I've only got an hour on the parking which is good because it's gonna make me shop quickly and then I can carry on to York So, as I always tend to find, the local hospice shops went out. Um, I went in Mind, Cancer Research, Martin House, Bernardo's, and the local hospice shop, which I think is called St Gemma's, is the only place I bought anything and I bought quite a few things. Um, so yeah, it just goes to show, doesn't it? Um, but it's now half past one and I'm going to head over to York and see what that has in store for me. Right, I've made it to York. There's been some mighty hellish traffic. Um, it's now 23 minutes past two. I should have got here about 20 minutes ago. Um, breakdowns, general traffic, road closures. Anyway, um, yeah, it's 20 past two, as I said. I'm gonna head in. I've come to the car park closest to the location. There's like one street in York called Goodrum Gate, which where the, is where the vast majority of charity shops are. So I'm going to go have a wander. May really ought to get something to eat because I haven't eaten anything yet today, but I don't actually feel hungry. However, I am planning on going to the gym later, so I will definitely need to have something before then. Um, I don't want to go before dinner because it's I, want, I need something, but it's not a good idea to go on a full stomach. So, um, yes, we'll see what happens. I know I haven't really filmed um, in the shops. It, I just feel so awkward. It's so obvious to everyone else that I'm filming and they're all staring. Um, so yeah, I'm just not confident enough to do it. I mean, there's people staring at me in the car park right now. The radio's decided to turn on. Anyway, yes, I'm gonna go and see what's out there. I remember why I don't come charity shopping in New York. And it's because most of them full of nothing but high street brands when i say high street i actually mean more supermarket brands and still charge six or seven pounds for a sainsbury's top and if they do have anything of half decent quality in they stick 20 or 30 quid on it so i'm leaving without a single item and i'm going out and head home and drop my parcels at the parcel shop on the way okay so i'm home now just stood looking at the garden because the sun is just moving round and it's going to be in the shade soon. Um, I went to Morrison's, got a few bits and got some diesel and then went to B&M and I've got loads of new storage boxes to go under my bed because uh, that's a little project that I need to do. And now I'm going to sort some stuff out and then probably head to the gym. So I started a thing. <laughs> I've cleared out the hole of the under of my bed. So as you can see, it's one of the optimum ones. There's some bags there, a load of stuff there. All that stuff there, apart from, <laughs> excuse my underwear. Uh, a suitcase, it smells like a big memory box. A load of old blankets and cushions that I don't use anymore and then this is a mixture of old bedding and my summer clothes um yeah it was all just kind of shoved under there like in a really random order so um I'm gonna quickly show you what I bought today because I'm gonna need some of it to help me organize everything to go back in underneath my bed so, it's time to show you what I got today. 
Um, firstly, from the charity shop, the YMCA charity shop, where I was hoping to see the Wedgwood set but didn't. Um, I got two 50p items. The first one is this um, vintage H&M or Y2K really H&M jacket. It's a uh, sort of cold felt blue pattern and then the striped beige um, and it's a US 10 so that's a UK 14. Well, it looks very small for a UK 14 so I'm going to have to take some measurements of that. And the other item I got was um, these m and collection linen trousers. I listed an m and linen shirt yesterday and it sold last night um, within a few hours of listing. These are a size 20 and they're short, so hopefully them being a unique size should actually help them sell because a person of that width that is short may struggle to find clothing you never know and then the final thing i got um was this new inbox um britta filter jug comes with um one of the filters as well as the jug it was three pounds and look at it comps these go for about 15 quid and it's all still fully sealed so i was happy to pay three pounds for that then if we move on to cancer research, so these are two, these are in Harrogate. Um, first thing I got was this Lipsy dress. It's got really nice floral beading to it and some lace and short sleeves. It's a short dress, sort of mid-thigh length chiffon material. Um, UK 12 and um, that was 5.95. Um, I sold like a Lipsy prom dress for just shy of 30 last week, so that's what led me to pick that up. The next thing I got is a really nice quality dress. I did pay up for this, but um, I'm hoping it'll be worth it. It's an LK Bennett dress, and it was £7, and it's in this sort of off-white, cream, marl, grey marl um, effect. And it's got these sort of half length sleeves and it's just like a what do they call these dresses not a shift dress is it a sheath dress i hate that word anyway it's a uk 12 and just a really nice quality dress lk then it's really pricey um so hopefully we'll make more than seven pounds on that we'll probably we thought it'll be in the 30 pound region um, I picked up a pair of men's um, double XL super dry swim shorts because they were only three pounds. They're in really good condition. So um, I've had some success with swim shorts last year, and I had a pair of animal ones um, that went for fifteen or from memory. Um, and there, there were others. So hopefully, from three quid, I can make a bit of profit on that. Um, I picked up one piece of brick from there, in fact, besides the jug, this is my only piece of brick for the entire day, and it was one, it's a mug, it was a pound, and it's um, a paddling of ducks, it's Queens by Churchill, um, the in crowd range, and um, it's quite pretty. I haven't looked at comps for this, but it's in mint condition, um, we'll probably just run it through a dishwasher to be safe. And then maybe 12 to 15 on that, I guess. Um, we'll see. But I thought for a quid, surely it had to be worth more than that. Um, I then picked up this um, shirt. It's poetry. It's a UK 14 and it was £4.25. It's in this bluish grey colour. And it says that it's 100%. Rammy. I don't know what that is. However, I've just noticed here that it's coming away at the seam in the back there, look. So for £4.25, I might actually take that back. I have the receipt. I don't like taking stuff back to charity shops, and if it was if, if it was a 50p item, I wouldn't. I would just re-donate it. But at £4.25, that's 
a pretty big fault um, and I don't think that it would sell for much more than what I paid for it. Um, so unfortunately I think I will return that and it's the first, actually I haven't returned anything to a charity shop ever but that doesn't really, I can't justify keeping that really um, and they probably just haven't noticed because I doubt it would have been out for that much money if they had. Um, the I think this is the last thing that I got in there. Yes, it is the last thing I got in there. Um, is this um, Ladies XL in Made in Italy or Valentine Italy um, linen shirt? And um, it's a bit of a strange one because this is the front of it, obviously. And it's only got two buttons and then it's got a front seam. And then on the back, it's got buttons running down it. But I just thought it was interesting. Yellow is supposed to be in for the coming um, seasons. I know it's more of a green, but I'll list it as green slash yellow. Um, because it's a very, very pale green, almost like. You know, it's on the yellow spectrum. So, um, and that was three ninety five. So that was everything I bought in Harrogate. Um, then on to Weatherby, and as I mentioned in the card, the only place I bought stuff from was um, St Gemma's Hospice. And for six ninety nine, I got a pair of um, Robel or Robel Rubble trousers. I've seen other sellers have good success with these. I think they go for around the £30 mark. These are um, mainly polyester viscose, a bit of cotton, a bit of elastane. Um, size wise, I'll need to measure them because the sizing is in Netherlands. Is that Netherlands? It says they're in 36. Um, Either way, I don't know what that com Excuse me. I don't know what that converts to in UK ladies sizing, but it's just a pair of grey trousers. Um yeah, um they were seven pounds. But if that if I can get thirty back, then that's a really good return. Um they've got little zips on the cuffs as well. The next thing I got was a skirt. It's a brand that I've said before I'm trying not to pick up. But I thought it was too nice not to. It's Laura Ashley. And it's a UK 16, so it's a good size. And they had this marked down to 3 99 And that's really why I picked it up. It's like a tweed kind of material. And it's got pink and white and beige in it. Front zip pockets. I don't know if they're actually real pockets or not. Yes, they are. Very small. But they are functioning pockets. And let's see what the material is. I have a feeling there'll be some wool in it. And that feeling would be wrong. <laughs> uh, acrylic, viscose, polyester, polyamide, and metallized fibre. But I thought it was a nice skirt and it's short enough to be um, for spring, even though it's sort of a thicker material. Um, and yeah, like I said, that was three ninety nine. Then I picked up this M and S um, with cashmere tie knot jumper. I thought this is actually quite Y two K, um, like laid over the top of a little dress, like a strappy dress. Um, it was only two ninety nine. The cashmere content is low, as you would expect. It's a UK eighteen. Um, 50% viscose, 36% polyamide, 7% angora and 7% cashmere. But it's in lovely condition and um, it would also make a nice um, occasion shrug cardigan, you know, like at a wedding or something. Uh, for when it gets chillier on the evening, looking towards the summer and being outside by night. Then um, my most expensive item of the day um, for 9.99 was this whistles jacket in this dusty pink color size 12 um, in perfect condition that I can see it's got all its buttons um, 
and it is a wool blend. It's 54% virgin wool and 46% cotton. UK 12, um, just a really nice jacket. Um, and I think a really nice one for spring. So I was happy with that for £10. Not sure what the resale will be on it, but whistles is expensive. So hopefully decent. Uh, penultimate item is a Guess Chinos jacket, size large, in this white colour, and I paid £7.99. Um, I'm guessing it's women's because if that's a men's large, then it's shrunk. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's 100% cotton, just a nice uh, white jacket, nothing too fancy. Um, maybe get £30 for that, not entirely sure, haven't looked at comps. I thought there was a stain then, but it was just a bit of fluff, so we're okay. And finally, um, an item that in hindsight maybe I shouldn't have picked up, but um, I really liked it. It's a bit too thick moving forward into spring and summer. It's um, this sort of tweed dress. Um, it's quite short. It's like a tunic style almost. I think that's what it's called. Um, and it's by Uniqlo, it's a size extra small, and it was £4.99, and um, it's also a wool blend, so um, only 20% wool, but um, wool, polyester and cotton, um, but it's in really nice condition, Uniqlo is a good brand, and um, I just thought it was a really pretty dress, uh, quite a simple dress but also quite timeless and I really like the cut of it. So that's everything that I bought from the charity shops. Now you just seen what I was doing in my bedroom um, with sorting my bed out because I am going to try and make some room under there for some stock because I'm running out of space and I keep buying stuff. So um, to combat that I went to Bean and Bargains and I got these six boxes to go under my bed. They're in a really nice sage green colour, which fits my colour scheme, even though they won't be on show because it's an Ottoman bed. Um, so you can't see them until you lift it up. They were £6 each, as you can see on the label, and they are made from, I think it's 100%. Yes, 100% recycled and recyclable um, plastic. So, um, I feel, I don't feel guilty for purchasing them because there's an awful lot of plastic here. I mean, equally, I don't know how else I would store stuff under my bed because I know you can get, I think they're called the scub boxes from Ikea, which um, you can get in that sort of depth that are made of fabric and have card inserts and whatnot, but they don't have lids and these are just more sturdy, easier to manoeuvre, um, wipeable, so yeah, um, a good winner. I'm just hoping they're going to fit. Um, I did take measurements with me, so fingers crossed they should do. But now that I've shown you everything that I bought today, I'm going to go and try and organise that um, before I head to the gym. And I keep you all in, so I hope you forget. A new bone! Because otherwise, I'm going to end up having a nap, and I don't want to do that. So yeah, I will um, crack on, and then perhaps show you when I'm done. Right, I've um, done as much as I want to for now, because I'm actually really, really tired. But it's so much better and there is so much space um let me show you what i've done and then tomorrow because it's half past six now so i'm gonna go in for tonight tomorrow um i'll finish off tidying everything up but yeah um let me flip the camera so this is what it's looking like it's a bit dark but at the front here is my weekender suitcase. I've got the flash on, that's why my skin looks shiny. Um, I've got my weekender suitcase because I often go away on a weekend and I don't want to have to go up in the loft for it. And these three boxes here are completely empty and ready to be dedicated to stock. Here I have some vacuum bags, primarily for my winter clothes when I put them away. 
Um, my summer clothes are currently in this middle box here, but they fit without vacuuming them down. My winter clothes, however, are much bulkier, so I feel that will be necessary. Um, there is a rucksack stuffed in there, and that actually has other bags inside it. Um, a couple of bum bags, another rucksack, etc. This front box here has all of my um, files in it and um, my spare smart plugs for Alexa. I'll quickly show you that that's all. <laughs> for whatever reason, the A word started up there. She must have heard me say her name. Um, and then that's got all my memorabilia stuff in it, all um, old photos, stuff like that. But yeah, um, these are still fully empty. So loads of space to fill. And then right at the back there, it's difficult to pick up. There you go. Um, I have a couple of spare cushions for my bed. So overall, I'm really happy with how that's turned out. Um, I've still got some clothes to put away there. My gym bag which is just my gym bag, um, needs sorting out. I stayed away the other night, so I need to empty that bag. Hello, I need to hang this mirror still, and then there's a pile of clothes there that needs sorting out. But besides that, it's looking good. I'm too tired to go to the gym now. Um, I really didn't intend going, so instead, I'm going to make myself go as soon as I'm up tomorrow, first thing in the morning, when I still have energy. Um... It's surprising how much energy sourcing takes out of you, um, even though I feel like I've not done much. I only walked around Harrogate, whether it be in York, but hey, I feel better for having that organised now. Um, and from that, got one bag of rubbish, got this box here full of stuff for charity, and a few things on here some old bedding this is jack quill's bedding there's a catherine lansfield quilt that's super king sized um i love man tt cap that we could do with a not a wash but cleaning um an england versus wales scarf a couple of coins that i bought when i was younger because i thought they were valuable i don't think they are and vintage wooden dominoes from my childhood um, all to see if any of it's worth money. If not, it will be going to charity tomorrow with the rest of the stuff. So now I'm going to wind down and relax for the evening. Um, I might even have a little snooze. It's half past six, so I've got time before dinner. Good morning on Sunday. Um, excuse the bed head, I haven't sorted my hair out yet. Um, slightly change, slightly change, slight change of plan <clears throat> today. As I said yesterday, I was planning to get straight up this morning and go to the gym and then come back, have some lunch, take the stuff to the charity shop, then go around to my sister's to see how the extension's progressing and pick up the dog because he's been there for a sleepover last night. However, I can't do that because they are going out at one o'clock and I wouldn't be there in time. So instead I'm having to swip, switch things around. So um, I've just got ready. Um, need to finish, well, need to finish getting ready. Um, and then I'm going to take my parcel to the parcel shop, take the stuff to the charity shop, and then go to my sister's, have a look at the extension, get the dog, come back, have some lunch, and then go to the gym. But I'm just about to put a wool wash on because I've been wearing this jumper, which is my favourite jumper. It's from Reese, and I bought it a few months ago in the clearance sale. Um, but with it being properly wool, it does bobble quite a lot. So I'm going to turn this inside out to wash it. And then once it's dry, give it a good deep bobble. But I can't describe to you how soft it is. It's beautiful to wear. Really, really comfortable. And also quite breathable. It's not too thick. Although it looks chunky, it's not actually that thick of a knit. And so it's not too, too warm to wear. I love it. Really, really pleased with it. I think it's RRP was 145 I think I either paid £40 or £42, so yeah, bargain, and then I've just got one of my classic H&M cotton um, jumpers, these I get for about 15 20 quid in the sales every year, um, and they're really good quality, um, I know H&M's a bit dodgy in terms of sustainability, but quite frankly all the brands are, let's be honest.
Right, so we're in the car now, aren't we, Charlie? He's in his bed that's all strapped in. Straps around the seat, round there. And then you can't see it, but it goes around the sides as well. And we're going to go home. We're going to go see your mummy and daddy. Yeah. So let's go. So, as you can see, home now. Just about to get changed into my gym gear and head down to the gym. It's 20 past one. And I'll probably have a quick bowl of cereal before I go just because I haven't eaten yet today and I could do with having something to um, fuel me, <laughs> um, but nothing too big because I don't want to vomit at the gym. That wouldn't be very pleasant for anyone. <laughs> So I've got the whole place to myself, but I've stopped the treadmill because it was so rattly. I'm not a particularly heavy person and it sounds like it's about to collapse. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to go for a swim instead. I've done some weights, but it's awkward to film. There were other people here at that point. I don't know where to set my phone up either, without it looking obvious. Um, I might do some free weights because I don't like people seeing me do that because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> so it's a good thing to do when I've got a place to myself to gain some more confidence. Um, and I might do some legs as well because I stopped. I didn't do them because I knew that I'd be running and it would not end well. So yeah. <laughs> there's no one around I'll quickly show you where it is that I've come to the gym because it's quite pretty it's an old hotel like old country house hotel I should put my stuff in the car and then I can show you so over there is a church there's a pub called the Fat Abbot that's part of the hotel it's the old quad old gatekeepers lodge and then as we come down here this is actually where I had my high school prom at this hotel and my <laughs> doctor's surgery is right next door to it, random, I know. Um, but it's a beautiful building. The only thing is, it does have a main road going right next to it. But yeah, 
It's very pretty. Back when we had the storms, I was driving down the driveway and one of the trees came down as I drove past it. Thankfully, it fell away from my car or it might have been another M42 type incident. And if you don't know what that means, I would refer you back to my Cornwall travel vlog. Um, but yeah, it's lovely down here. I feel very privileged to be able to come, um, but it's so handy. It's only six minute, no, five minute drive, door to door. Um, and in the week, it's quite quiet, but on the weekend it gets really busy because a lot of the hotel guests will book to go to the spa for the day um, and it gets really full. I mean, the gym stay is quiet, but the spa and the pool area gets really full um, and it's not as enjoyable to use, but they've paid to be there, so I can't do anything about it. <laughs> right, time to head over to see my nan. Um, I saw her on Friday. I took her to see her friends that she hasn't seen in about 12 years even though she lives in the same village they just kind of lost contact they still sent christmas cards and whatnot but they've been friends for 60 years and back when my mum was growing up they were really really close like best friends they did everything together even down to washing the blankets <laughs> so it was really nice um my nan has massively downsized from where she used to live but um her friend hasn't and she lives in what's called the manor house and it truly is the manor house. It's actually um, still got a section of the moat <laughs> outside it. It used to be fully surrounded by a moat. There's been a building there since um, 1350, but the vast majority of the house as it stands now is 16th century. Um, and it's amazing. It's got a tower um, and I got to go up the tower, which was fantastic. Um, I did take a little clip, so I will, I'll insert that here. Um, because it doesn't show anything personal, otherwise I, I wouldn't do because that would be wrong. to go and see her and no doubt we'll be talking about the events of Friday because bless her it, it I think it made a week to go and see her it was really lovely to see them reunite um and we had a lovely cup of tea in um you know the traditional blue and white pottery tea cups and saucers and she'd made us a really nice Victoria sponge it was just a really lovely afternoon it was nice to see my nan so happy well both of them so happy I think they said they're gonna have to make um make it happen more often thankfully her friend still drives so she can go and see my nan because um, even though they're in the same village it's about a half a mile walk so neither of them are capable of that um so yes anyway gonna go now see my nan and see what she's been up to this weekend
Hello. So it's a bit later on now, it's about half five. I'm back from my nan's, got back about half four. Um, and my sister and her partner are here because we're celebrating my dad's birthday tonight. Um, we'll be celebrating again on Tuesday because that's his actual birthday. Um, I've just come up to the office before we have dinner and I've got a cup of tea and I'm going to do some tidying because it's kind of taken the brunt of me clearing out my bed yesterday as in um, this all this stuff here that's come out from under my bed that I'm going to sell. So I need to get on and really get some photography done but um, I don't know how much time I'll have so we'll see what I can get done in that time. Right then, so as you'll have seen, um, we have just had dinner, it was delicious. My sister and her partner have gone home now, but this office is a mess. So I've got a duvet cover here that I'm trying to photograph. It's not really working. Um, I photographed everything that's in this box, which I'm happy about. This is my, so this is my photographed stock box and this is my unphotographed stock box. And everything on there is unphotographed and needs to go in there. But I also want to see if I can get some more photographed tonight and just get everything else put away because I've trashed this room. I've been watching some YouTube, um, The Chateau Diaries. You may well know it, it's quite a big channel. Um, sorry, Stephanie, that's not a particularly flattering position for you. But um, really love it. But that's my architecture side coming out. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's now quarter to nine and I need to get a shower and then sort this room out and get a decent night's sleep because back to work tomorrow. Hello, so it's later on now. It's five to midnight. I'm about to go to bed. I ended up photographing 27 items today, took almost 300 photos, so not bad going for, I think it's a couple of hours work. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go to bed and I want to import the footage into my laptop before I do so, so I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon with another upload.